It is fall here in the Hudson Valley. The crimson and golden leaves are crisp underfoot, and today we're going to talk turkey. If you're roasting a whole turkey for Thanksgiving, you're doing it wrong. I'll show you how to do it right. Hello, happy almost Thanksgiving. Listen, turkeys can get a bad rap. We all know that. People complain about the breast meat being dry and fighting over the good parts. Well, I am about to blow your mind. We are not gonna be making a whole turkey on Thanksgiving. Oh no, no. We are gonna be braising the very best part, turkey thighs. The first step in any turkey preparation starts the day before. We are going to essentially dry brine the turkey thighs. I'm just gonna be using salt and pepper. I'm gonna season them very well and then leave them uncovered in the fridge overnight. We are back. It is day two. The turkey thighs have been out of the fridge, sitting at room temperature. And the next thing we're gonna do is get a really beautiful golden sear on the skin side. So we're gonna start by heating up some neutral oil. I'm using neutral oil because it has a higher smoke point and I wanna make sure that I have enough time to give the thighs their time to get beautiful and crispy and brown. Okay, you see how big these guys are. There's no way I'm getting more than one at a time into this pot. So we're just gonna go, go for it. I'm using canola oil. You could use vegetable oil. You could use grapeseed oil. I'm gonna add it in. And then when it starts to shimmer, I'm gonna add in my first thigh, skin side down. On this particular side, you're gonna need about five to seven minutes. On the other side, I don't really care as much, probably two minutes or so, because everything's gonna get cooked off in the oven anyway. You're really just looking for that beautiful color. Thighs are out. Let's set them aside and we'll start building our aromatics and adding our broth and then putting these beautiful babies in the oven. First things first, I'm gonna chop up some celery and uh, leek. I'm gonna take a head of garlic and cut it crosswise and we can go over to the oven or the stove. Same thing, range the range. That's just the way it is. The stove top range and we can start sauteing our aromatics. I'm about to try something that I've not done before. I'm going to actually saute my aromatics right in the roasting pan. Why not? I'm gonna use olive oil because I would love some of that flavor infused into the leeks and the celery and I don't need a ton of color on it so it doesn't need to take that long. Let's add in our garlic and our fresh herbs. I'm using better than bouillon. I'm not making stock. It has so much flavor in it, I don't think it's necessary. So I'm gonna add about four and a half to five cups of water. You want enough liquid to come up about halfway on the turkey th thighs. And once it comes to a simmer, I'm gonna add in about six teaspoons of better than bouillon. A little over here, a little over here just making sure that it's well distributed throughout. Finally, we are going to cover with foil and pop this in the oven at around 300 for two and a half to three hours. Last year, I had less aromatics in the broth and I went ahead and shredded the meat directly in the juices and it was absolutely delicious. This year, I opted to use um, some more aromatics. So if I were you, I would strain them out before shredding the meat, which is what I'm gonna to do today. I would serve this with stuffing, sprouts. Honestly, excited for leftovers. Look at this turkey. And there you have it. Braised turkey thighs for Thanksgiving. I'll never make a whole turkey ever again. I promise to change before my guests come over. Happy Thanksgiving.